So Hannibal, he is uh, he's a big boy. He's a uh, he's a mark. He's uh, I don't know if he's truly he probably makes about sense. He's about six four is what he's billed as two ninety sounds about right. He's probably a little you know give or take an inch or two. Um, so Hannibal was a, a big wrestling mark, and you know he was built to be a wrestler. He had you know he had a look. He was a big dude, whatever. He trained really hard. And he wanted to be a wrestler. Hannibal got Hep C from Abdullah the Butcher, and famously sued him. He never really, he blames the hepatitis, even though he now doesn't test positive for hepatitis anymore. It's just that people don't, like, he, he says it's the hepatitis that um, is the reason why he never got a, a job at WWE as a wrestler. Despite the fact that, according to his own Wikipedia, uh, 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 Devin participated in no less than 15 tryouts. 15 tryouts with the WWE. 15 you stupid idiot so being 6'4 290 like you gotta understand to understand wrestling and this was back in like you know the 2000s right Vince was in charge back then Vince has a hard on for big dudes all dressed up for a night on the town look at the striations Vince is a closeted homosexual man who loves big men so when you're a big dude you get 15 tryouts. 15, because he, just, he had the look. But he says, oh, no, when I got hepatitis, they wouldn't give me the job. But it's like, but well, they didn't give you a job 15 other times. So Hannibal transitioned into being, I don't give him credit, one of the premier independent YouTube content creators in the wrestling world. I'm not going to take that from him. He's got a bunch of subs on his channel. He's not a nobody, but it's always eaten at this guy that he never got his big chance. He, he doesn't want to be a wrestling YouTuber. He wants to be a wrestler. He started his own promotions, his own backyard little indie mud shows just so he could put himself over. I mean, he's done everything he can to continue to make people believe he's in the industry, but nobody in the industry respects him. I'll put it this way. Steve Hofstetter is the Steve is uh, I'm sorry, uh, Devin Nicholson is the Steve Hofstetter of wrestling. Steve Hofstetter has massive online presence, a uh, massive grassroots like mailing list. He sells tickets. He can get shows filled. He, he's got his own audience, but nobody in the industry respects him. Everyone in the real comedy industry makes fun of Steve Hofstetter behind his back, and he knows it. Devin is kind of the same way. Hannibal is the same way. He's a guy that anybody who is even remotely in the inner, like, gravitational pull of the wrestling industry considers this guy a fucking joke. Hannibal was doing some weird shit a while back, and I was calling it out. And if any of you remember, I was saying that Hannibal was, he was, a like, he had had some industry issues. He, um... He basically fucked up a referee during a show. The guy needed like stitches and, and, and fucking staples and shit. He fucking absolutely just mutilated this referee. Um, he's been doing a lot of wild shit. He used to, he uses his YouTube money to basically um, fund his wrestling stuff. So for a while he was using his big YouTuber money and he was, um, he got Selena De La Renta who's a, she's in the indies, but she's sort of a pretty hot shit, well-known, like little sexy ass fucking valet manager. She ended up wanting nothing to do with him after that incident. And then instead of like, he kept getting these like lower level indie female valets and he would pay them to company him and Lord knows, probably hit on him and stuff. And then eventually he just stopped. He gave up on hiring real industry, like wrestling managers and valets. And he decided, no, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to make my own valet. And in the process, he started hanging out with some women that, as you guys know, we watched it on the show. I was pointing out were of, um, let's say very questionable origins. Um, women, I believed to be perhaps purchased from other, by other means. 
And then I think he did the whole, you know, I'm going to make gimmicks star in the room. I'm gonna, you want to hunt some gimmicks in the wrestling business? I'm going to make you a star. Wash it down with a couple gimmicks. Is that supposed to be sexy? So, he started hanging out with this chick a while back named Natalia. I remember we were playing the videos of him and Natalia, and it was just him being very weird with her. And it was like, are you a couple? Or is she training to be a rep? Like, what are you doing with this chick? It was very, you could tell he just was probably paying this woman to be around him. And he was probably like, you stick with me, I'll make you a star. You can manage the legendary blood hunter. He is so fucking awkward. It's not the sexy parts that are making people uncut. It's him going, you better go with your tongue. Only once a week. Just one cheat. A week. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite part about licking ice cream? It's cold. It's cold. You have very full lips, don't you? Mm-hmm. Somebody says Boo Boo's cute. She is cute. Description for people, but where can they look it up? Look up what? Because we're going to go swimming in a bit. It's going to work up your appetite. And everyone should follow you on your Instagram, shouldn't they? Mm-hmm. Where can they look that up? I put the link in the description for people. Oh, did you? Where How can they look it up? N A T A L I A. Then Lucifer with the no at the end. All right, let's see. Oh my God, I think I looked this bitch up one time, and if I recall correctly, she's yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, I remember this now. She, I remember we ended up finding out she was, in fact, definitely a hooker. That's a hooker. That's right, I remember this now. Absolutely a hooker. Yeah, case closed. That's a fucking hooker. So anyway, um, this is why I'm I'm playing. I'm giving you guys a little bit trip down memory lane because um, well, we just got this from Danny Saint today, uh, from E Wrestling News. Devin Hannibal Nicholson arrested, charged with assault. Devin Hannibal Nicholson has been charged with assault over an alleged incident between himself and a woman last month. Now, the Natalia videos were from three months ago. Now, I don't know if it's Natalia or not. I don't know that. I can't prove it. But this guy's a problem. This guy is a problem. And yet another situation that I told you guys fucking six months ago. This guy's going to be a problem. According to PW Insider, uh, oh, Nicholson competed, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, according to PW Insider, Nicholson will go on trial on October 12th in Kingston, Ontario, Canada, for allegedly attacking a woman last month. Nicholson appeared before the Ontario Court of Justice early today for a bail hearing uh, with conditions on his bail. I would like to know more about this. Oh, my God. That's why he's been missing. Um, independent wrestler Devin Hannibal Nicholson will stand trial on 1012 in Kingston, Ontario, on charges of assaulting a woman last month. PW Insider has confirmed Nicholson has been incarcerated since being arrested and went before the Ontario Court of Justice this morning at 9 a.m. for a bail hearing. His YouTube account shows he was in Kingston on 820 with his girlfriend. He was originally listed on the court docket on 829, so the incident happened within that time frame. Nicholson has been released under supervision of his parents and must pay either stay with them or contact them daily. He has been ordered to have no contact with the victim and will have to abide by a nightly curfew. Nicholson made waves into it. Wait, there was a video of him with the... Ch- okay, hang on, 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 hang on. August 20th, August 20th, August 20th, August 20th, August 20th. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. God, they put too much... Hey, hey, Devin, if you're going to have this many different podcasts and stuff all on your same channel, then you need to, um, like, make playlists and organize it better. Um... 
shit, did they take it down? They might have taken it down. Um, oh, that's not it. Um, fuck. Where's the Where's the story again? His YouTube account shows he was in Kingston on 820 with his girlfriend. Oh, maybe it's his community tab. I didn't even think of that. Um, nope. It's not the community tab. One month, three weeks. Um, I'm not seeing it. I don't see it. Ah, fuck. He probably took it down. Shit. I want to see this video. It's his YouTube account. So is it three weeks ago? MMA Power. This is all just... What are you doing? Hi, buddy. Oh, what are you doing? Um, shit. I was really hoping it would be on here, but it's just stupid. All these stupid clips. I would love to see this, though. Three weeks ago, three weeks ago. It was 820 would have been about three weeks ago. But I don't see the video up. I'm wondering if he took the video down. I don't know. Let me see. Let's see if there's anybody else with some fucking scoops on it. Um, I just don't see anything about it on his account. I'm wondering if he really fucking deleted like a video, which would be kind of suspicious. Man, I just don't know if it's the same chick. According to his YouTube channel, he was in Ontario with his girlfriend on August 20th. But where on his YouTube channel? You motherfuckers, you goddamn shitty-ass wrestling Mark journalists. That's because you're a Mark. It's coming out of your check, you fucking Mark. You don't know how to hyperlink things. You never know how to fucking cite your sources. You guys are all just fucking losers. You fucking Mark, you stupid idiot. Um, I'm not seeing... Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. I just see a lot of shitty clips of... Wow, I really want to hear Tony Gurria. Uh, I want to hear Tom Pritchard <clears throat> talk about the craft. Fuck 